Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mind Your Exam. So in this video, we will be studying the second technique for framing used by the data link layer. In the previous video, we have covered the first technique, which is the byte count technique. And in today's video, the technique that we are going to cover for framing is flag byte with byte stuffing. So what actually happens in framing is that the data link layer tries to define the starting and ending of frames so that when the frame is received at the receiver side, then the data link layer at the receiver side is able to distinguish one frame from the next. Okay, so in this technique, flag byte with byte stuffing, a fixed pattern of bits, which is known as the flag byte, is used to represent the starting and ending of a frame. Okay, so every frame will have a starting flag byte and a ending flag byte and both these flag bytes will have the same pattern and the pattern will be agreed upon by the data link layer at the two sides before starting the communication. Okay, so the fixed pattern of bits is known as the flag byte. So any two consecutive flag bytes in the stream of data means the end of one frame because two consecutive byte means the ending flag byte of one frame and the starting flag byte of the next frame. So the end of one frame and the start of next frame. So every time the uh, data link layer at the receiver side loses synchronization or it forgets where the starting and ending of the frame is, it just has to look for two consecutive flag bytes. Okay, so this is how the receiver is able to overcome the disadvantage of the byte count technique. In the byte count technique that we studied in the previous video, we saw that if an error occurs, the entire uh, synchronization will be lost. That means not only that particular frame which has the error will not be distinguishable by the receiver, but all other frames would not be understood. What is their starting? What is their ending? And so on. But in this case, the receiver only has to look for two consecutive flag bytes patterns in the stream and he or she, the receiver will be able to find out the delimiter okay so what is the pattern or how does a frame look like this is a basic frame and when this particular technique flag byte with byte stuffing is being used this uh, particular frame has five different fields the uh, actual frame is this particular part consisting of the header the payload which consists of a network packet and the trailer part but to tell the receiver that here a new frame is starting so a flag byte is added at the beginning and to tell the receiver that at this point the frame is ending a flag byte is added at the end also okay now let us understand what is the uh, problem that happens with this particular technique now the problem is that the pattern that the pattern of the flag byte can appear as data itself okay so what will happen the pattern which is representing the flag will itself appear in the data part so in this case the data part which contains this flag pattern will be thought of as the ending or beginning of a frame. So this is a drawback. This is we don't want. We do not want that if this flag pattern appears in the data, the receiver misunderstands it as the ending of the frame because it is actually data. It is not a flag byte. So what is the solution? The solution is byte stuffing. So this technique comes with a solution to its drawback also flag byte with byte stuffing now what is byte stuffing byte stuffing basically means that we insert a special byte pattern which is known as the escape byte okay so a special byte pattern which is known as the escape byte or in short we know or denote it as esc we insert this escape byte pattern just before the flag byte that is appearing in the data section.
flag byte in the data section. So we do not have to append this special escape byte in front of the starting and ending flag. No, only when this particular flag byte also appears in the payload part, that means in the data section, then before this flag byte, we will add a escape byte, an escape byte which is denoted by ESC here. Okay, so whenever we send this kind of frame to the receiver, the receiver will check if there is any kind of escape byte in the stream, the receiver rece removes all the escape bytes and then transmits this particular data to the network layer because at any cost the receiver should never the data link layer at the receiver should never send escape or extra bytes redundant information to the network layer the network layer should only receive the information that was actually sent by the sender so at the receiver escape bytes are removed before the data is sent to the network layer now let us understand it with a diagram see the original uh, pattern or the original data was something like x this denotes some bits y denoting some bits and there is a flag pattern which is present inside the frame so this entire thing right now is the uh, data section so the data consists of some bits at the starting some bits at the end and in between it consists of some bits which are exactly the same pattern that is representing the flag so what the uh, sender will do it will actually add an escape byte pattern in front of the flag byte pattern that is appearing in data and it will send it to the receiver now the receiver will remove this escape byte and send the remaining data to the network layer now please notice that this remaining data is exactly the one which was sent by the sender after removing the escape byte so this is serving our purpose now let us see another example in this case what is happening is the uh, another scenario can be when the data part contains the escape byte pattern so escape byte is also a fixed pattern flag byte is also another fixed pattern any of these patterns can appear in the data section so now how we will handle the escape byte pattern if this is what the frame looks like that the data part contains the flag the escape pattern itself then we will add another escape byte in front of it so what will happen is uh, this original message will be changed to this particular message and when it will be received at the receiving end the receiver always removes the first escape bytes okay so it will remove this particular escape byte and send the remaining data which is same as the original data to the receiving network layer okay now let us consider other scenarios what if both escape byte pattern and flag byte pattern appear in data then what we have to do we have to add an escape byte in front of both of them so one escape byte for the escape bit pattern that was present here and one escape byte for the flag bit pattern that was originally present so what will happen is that when the receiver receives this kind of uh, data stream what it will do it will remove escape bytes it will remove the first two escape bytes and the data that it will send to the network layer will be the original same as the original one which is x y bits con uh, uh, containing the escape flag bit pattern and the flag bit pattern the last scenario can be when uh, both escape byte patterns are repeated so basically escape byte is appearing in data and it is being repeated so like the previous case here also two escape flags will be added one for each pattern that is appearing 
okay both in both these cases so one escape flag or one escape byte pattern will be added for each escape as well as flag pattern that is appearing in the original data and at the receiver end each escape will be removed okay so whenever an escape byte is uh, appearing in the data the data link layer at the sending side stuffs another escape byte before it so it is happening at the sender side the byte stuffing of the escape bytes is happening at the sender side now what happens at the receiver at the receiver the data link layer removes the first escape byte which was stuffed and then treats the second escape byte as the data itself so what will happen whenever the uh, receiver receives this kind of information he first sees the first escape byte the receiver removes it and it tre treats the next escape byte as data then he again sees the escape byte pattern he again removes it and then he sees the following escape byte as data and similar for flag bytes also okay so this was all about uh, byte stuffing and flag byte with byte stuffing framing technique i hope you have understood this technique thank you for watching this video and let us know how did you find this video and which other topics you would like to study on our channel till we meet in the next video mind your exam